Hello everybody and welcome to Smickle News Network, um, SNN for short, where we give you the news on everything gaming and everything in the world. Um, in today's top stories, we have a controversy about whether Benjamin Button's speed tech is viable for the life speed run. Um, experts are coming into question on whether or not being able to age down instead of up should be allowed on speedrun.com. Um, furthermore, Silksong actually getting a release date. Now, what does that mean for other games such as Metroid Prime and Bayonetta 3? Do those games also get released? Or is this just something that we're going to give to the uh, Hollow Knight fans after not having a game for so long? And last story on the board is that uh, Smickle and Smooth, renowned owner of SNN, is a holding a heavies tournament after this broadcast. So make sure that you tune in after this uh, show to get the highs and lows of that epic tournament gameplay. Uh, but before we hit those stories, we have a very important guest today. Um, we actually are live with Smickle and Smooth himself to get the interview about his life as a creator after being on Twitch for five years. Hi Smickle, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Glad to, glad to be here. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Um, Honestly, congratulations, first and foremost. Five years in the content creating business is stupendous. It's fantastic. Um, you know, it takes a lot of effort to be in there, and I'm sure that you feel the weight of that, right? Ah, ab absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it's not easy. Um, but I'm glad that I'm doing it, and I wouldn't be doing anything else with my life. So, you know, happy to be here in this content creating life that I live, I guess. It says that you've uh, been streaming for a good amount, five years, um, but we actually have footage of you making content prior to that. Um, is it okay if we uh, put that on screen real quick? You're kidding. Um, why do you have that? Why do you have that footage? I, we, I mean, I guess it's fine. Go ahead. For sure. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll the clip. This is one of the games I like, and it's another game that I haven't beat. Um, I might alternate between which ones I'm doing, I might not. And let's change our name here, because clearly my name is not Edgar. Let's be... Yeah. How does it feel, seeing those early ages, you know? The, 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 the young you, inspiring to be a content creator, so young, the 2012 we have as it seats here. How do you feel about that? Um... I didn't know anything about audio balancing at all whatsoever, apparently. Um, but, uh, you know, at least I was a, a kid having fun. Uh, man. Man. Now, being a content creator for as long as you have, have you met any hardships as a creator? What, what are the, the, the trials and tribulations of uh, pressing that live button every day? Well... What it really comes down to, uh, as far as hardships, I guess, is, uh, I mean, it, it, it's a balance of, like, two things. I mean, honestly, a lot of things. I'm saying a lot of words right now. Uh, there's the emotional side of it, because, you know, as much as, like, you know, it, it seems simple to just press that live button and go live and just say things for hours, it, it's a lot of, it's a lot of things. It's mentally taxing, you know, um... Whether it is other people putting that responsibility on you or your own self-responsibility, you know, you, you go online and you are creating content. You are making a show for people. And there are so many things like the reception of that show, um, how you were feeling when you were creating that content, um, you know, the what, what happened before you pressed that live button or what you were going to do after you, uh, you know, stopped being live. There, there's a lot of things that are going into that go into being live online, um, and it, it's, it's a lot on the mind, um, and there are definitely just parts of, of my life where I just sometimes don't feel ready to do it, but I've got to, um, and that can be tough, um, but I, I'd rather face those, those hardships than um, not, you know, because it's something I really enjoy doing. And, and on the other side of it, there's your, your run-of-the-mill, like, 
technical difficulties, you know, don't have the right hardware, you know, can't make something work, you know, things aren't working for reasons that you can't even uh, troubleshoot, you know, it happens all the time. Um, but it's, it's okay, and it's fine, you know, you just have to remember that you gotta get up and, and do whatever you can to keep moving forward. That's, that's what I tell myself all the time, you know. I'm very much a, you know, keep going person. You know, if something stops you, find another avenue. Um, something slowing you down, it's okay. You're still moving forward. You know, as long as you keep moving and you keep trying and you keep doing, you're doing fine. And that's, that is the, the way that I handle when things aren't going right or correct. Which I, you know, there are worse ways. Um, but, you know, despite the hardships, it is always going to be worth it to do what I do. As long as I know that people are enjoying the things that I make, if I'm giving a laugh to somebody, you know, I'm doing a good job. And on the other side of that, what are the the best moments there for you? What, um, because, you know, every hard moment is, is only ever followed up by, like, the greatest things, you know? What are the things that remind you that it's worth it to press that live button? What, uh, what, do, you, what do you remember fondly? Um, some of the best moments is when I like not to be poetic about it but like when I feel like I'm really enjoying the human experience um and when I feel like pivotal moments or important moments of my life are being you know solidified and ingrained and engraved uh while being live like the couple of times where I've beaten a game on stream and there's people watching or there's people on call with me and we all are kind of experiencing it together that that is always like super cool for me um just kind of like I know that we're all going through this emotional thing when we just finish a really like taxing game um and you know it's just we're all in the moment or if you're we're playing a party game or some kind of you know fun multiplayer game and you know everybody's having a good time and we're all saying jokes and we're all laughing and we can't even play the game because we're laughing like stuff like that is super cool for me and is another thing that I really look forward to whenever I get to those moments. Um, knowing that people enjoy my content, like as much as I try to be like, I'm gonna make what I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. At the end of the day, um, knowing that people enjoy it, you know, are creating clips or are sharing clips around about something I said or did or did with other people like that, you know, means a lot to me because I, I want to create something worth experiencing you know um and anything that like every, every time that i'm allowed to meet somebody new and to cre create a friend that i think is going to be around for a long time um because i am doing this is is good for me um i think in the last like two years i've definitely broadened my horizons as far as people and experiences have gone um, because of this, you know, it's, it's allowed me to meet a lot of really great people. Um, and I don't think I, my life would be like this if I didn't do it. So I'm glad to, you know, have that, you know, it's, it's very unique and special and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's, it's super cool. Now, as far as the future of year six of, um, Smiggle and Smoot, uh, what is, um, any plans and inspiration to share with, uh, us or your fans? Um, I know that uh holding tournaments is gonna be a regular thing that I do. Um me and Miss have successfully held a lot of tournaments in the last year. Um all of them fantastic and exciting. I know that I fall asleep during them because I am really bad at having a normal sleep schedule and a lot of things happen. But it doesn't change that I like deeply enthralled by the players that we have. Um so continue to expect us to have more tournaments, um, depending on how the tournament today goes you know maybe i might hold special smash brothers tournaments more regularly to uh, you know let unique aspects of it shine um more more playing rpgs there's a lot of exciting rpgs coming out in the next uh i mean honestly in the last half of this year there's like a good four or five of them um and if you don't want to play the game yourself or you don't have the money to play the game i definitely will go broke buying it and playing it so you know i can be your test drive um, I always talk about that I'm going to make a podcast. I don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'll actually do it, but, you know, if those details come to fruition, absolutely. Um, expect more Virtuous Spirits content. Um, it is a huge, 
huge thing that we're trying to make you know we're trying to really solidify it and uh we're going to do everything in our power to you know make it a beautiful thing you know i say you know a lot not even don't even know why i'm mentioning that right now I'm so sorry <laughs> but um it's there's nothing specific that i am expecting to have at the moment but i'm always kind of creating ideas uh cooking things up um running things by people around me to 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 make for for people but also for just me to do you know um you know content creation is in my blood for the most part uh so you know expect more um and never never be afraid to just shoot things at me too you know i i am always open to ideas now before we wrap this up um is there any uh people that you want to thank in your journey as a content creator anybody who has uh, helped get you here or helped inspired you you know i'm sure you have a long list you know being the popular guy that you are i'm not that popular i'm you know i'm, I'm i just hang around a lot of spots um as far as thanks that i want to give um there's a good amount of people honestly um first of all my mom she's been a huge supporter um especially when uh as a kid this is not something i thought i would be doing um and you know growing up like being really into video games was like a little bit frowned upon in, in a way like you know the, the classic like you're not gonna get anywhere you're not gonna do anything um so I'm, I'm glad that my mom despite all of that uh stigma that it has you know she was there to be like do it you know I, like i know you're taking care of what you've got to do like if this is something you want to chase then chase it so you know thank you mom for doing that it's it means a lot to me and i think about it a lot um i want to thank the people of my own group uh if you will uh i call them the, the smiggle and co you know people who hang out with me in my server um thank you sebs john uh Relly, dj um moth i know she's not necessarily there all the time but she you know she's a very important friend of mine um and everybody who is you know in my server thank you guys it it helps to have you guys around you do make my days a lot easier when i you can uh, go there at the end of the night and just hang out um and also just thank you guys for being a part of you know the content that i create and being there to support it and help me you know refine it as well um, thank you for the people over at, uh, Vapor City, Yakuza, uh, Maselia Dev, uh, Nug Shades, uh, Bulby, Kyrie, Rose, um, th there's a lot of you guys, and I don't want to miss anybody, but, like, thank you guys, uh, Darkle Blue, Darkle my husband, <laughs> um, you guys are, are really great, and I'm really glad to have you guys, um, it definitely you guys have definitely done done a lot to open me up to a lot of new experiences that i wouldn't have had before and i think that being there has helped me in my own content as well um and it's just also you know good to have you guys around you guys are really kind uh the people over at discape um uh, steph mal tyler uh you know cat uh jay sebs again <laughs> um they were the first like big online friends group that i have ever had um and it, it you know it, it was a big change for me to be there and you know make the stretch to ask to be a part of that group but they, they're really great people and i'm glad that i met them because it, it was probably like the first step that i had to you know getting to where i where i am now um in, in recent years um also everybody a part of uh vapor, vapor city we have got to vs virtuous spirits um tyler hannah miss early thank you guys for you know nuck and shades as well but thank you guys for creating this group um i guess we all put a part did our part in it but you know it's really nice to be a part of something like that um i will always think about the day when early asked me like if you could stream for a living would you do it like i feel like that was a life-changing question i feel like when he asked me that, that was uh, the point of no return in my own video game. And they said, every side quest before this will disappear after you answer this. And um, I don't even think it took a lot of thinking to be like, yes, this is something that I would want to do. 
and um, being a part of that means a lot to me. So thank you guys as well. Um, thank you to everybody who watches my streams for it. And it being being a part of my own stream would mean nothing to me without the people who watch it. You know, um, and seeing the faces come and go, and you know, people who pop in like every few months, people who are there all the time. You know, uh, it 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 it's what makes it important to me. Um, you guys are the, the foundation of what I build and I really appreciate that and I l love you guys for it um, and just you know thank you to all my friends um, whether they know what I do because I you know I'd be keeping my streaming on the DL but thank you to everybody who supports me and you know cares about me it, it means a lot to have people you know pe People is the, the name of the game. It, it, it's what I'm for. It's what keeps me going. And, you know, everybody who has helped me do what I do, I, I am deeply appreciative of. So thank you guys, one and all. Well, thank you so much for uh, being here and sharing your time with us. Um, it's been a pleasure and an honor. Um, I'm personally a super huge fan of the uh, content that you make. So thank you for, you know, letting me be your interviewee. Um, we actually have to uh, wrap up this interview uh, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, but uh, after that, we're going to be uh, going into the heavies tournament. Um, thank you for watching, uh, SNN. I have been your host, uh, Smichael, uh, aged up by 13 years, and I will uh, we'll see you on the next episode.